Beat Action is synonymous with Oceanic Skullgirls. It is a staple assist played in the region for years. With it now also having gained prominence across the globe as one of the best assists in the game, I wanted to share some strategies I have learned to help mitigate its strength. This video will mainly cover light and medium beat extend. Dealing with beat extend has three facets to it. Dealing with it on their defense, dealing with it while in neutral, and dealing with it on their offense. In neutral, since it hits so high up, going above beat extend is not very reliable. Instead, you should aim to be outside of beat extend's horizontal range, unless you are ready to hit the opponent with a mix-up or grab them before beat extend comes out. Being stuck in beat extend assist range without frame advantage to stop the attacker from calling it means you have to be ready to defend. You can also try to use his large hurtbox against him in these neutral scenarios. I use Jumping Heyu Punch as Robo Fortune a lot against big band teams when I feel like they will call beat extend. It is a projectile active for a long time in the same general area, and its angle is very well suited to stuffing beat extend assist before it comes out. It is also double jump cancelable on hit or block, so if the point character blocked it beforehand, I can safely block the beat extend assist. As far as defense goes, Beat Extend is similar to most DP assists such as Up 2 and Pillar, with a few exceptions. There are three main ways you can try to straight up beat defensive DP assist calls. One is to hit the point character with a high or a low before the DP assist becomes active. If the point character is in hit stun when an assist comes down, the assist will not perform their attack and will just taunt and attempt to leave the screen. Often this means you can hit both characters and get a happy birthday combo that can lead to a double snap. Another one is simply to hit the assist out of its vulnerable startup. Every assist in the game has 3 frames of vulnerable startup before the startup of the assist attack. This means even DP assists, normally invincible on startup, have a period before they are active during which you can hit them. Using multi-hit moves will increase the chances of success here. The final method is to use throws on offense. Most people will call DP assists while downbacking so they can confirm off the assist if it is blocked or get a combo if it hits. So grabbing them before or as the assist comes out is strong. Using throw plus assist can open up happy birthday opportunities as well, especially near the corner. Beat extend has some nuance to it regarding these points. Light and medium beat extends are unique in that they have 5 frames of vulnerable startup before invincibility instead of the usual 3 frames. This makes it easier to meaty them as they jump in before attempting the beat extend. Big Ben's hurt box and collision box is bigger than any other character, so I would recommend checking that your happy birthday combos work on X and BB pairs. Notable ones to check in my opinion are Squiggly Big Band, Double Big Band, Cerebella Big Band, and Painwheel Big Band. If you can hit your happy birthday combos on those pairs, there is a very high chance it will work on everyone in almost every scenario. Also aim to make your confirms hit both characters. You don't want to see Big Band come out, get hit, and then because he's so big, drop your happy birthday confirm. Beat Extend is also a serviceable offensive assist. It pulls the opponent out of the corner, allowing for corner cross-ups. Here, note that every character aside from Big Band only blocks one hit of the assist while crouching, which has fairly low block stun, varying whether you block the assist standing, crouching, and push blocking or not, gives you a lot of control as to when you escape block stun, and lets you use push block absolute guard and push block guard cancel to help mitigate mix-ups. If you need more information on how to use PBAG and PBGC, check out my video on that. Hopefully this is useful starting information to help deal with such a strong meta-defining assist. Thanks for watching.